Welcome aboard the BioTrain. In this video, we're going to take it straight from the notebook. This page in our notebook deals with ecology. Ecology is the branch of biology that deals with relations of organisms to one another and to their physical surroundings. In ecology, we look at the higher levels of organization in biology, like populations, communities, ecosystems, biomes, and the entire biosphere. The level of organization ecosystems is particularly important in ecology because it is the first level of organization that looks at both non-living and living factors and how they interact with one another. Let's take a look at this diagram which shows two important things that have to happen in an ecosystem in order for it to be sustainable. Notice there are two different color arrows, the arrows that are colored in and the arrows that are uncolored in. Let's take a look at the arrows that are colored in. These represent energy. Ecosystems need a constant input of high quality energy in order to be sustainable. Fortunately, our biosphere has the sun which provides this energy for the ecosystems on Earth. The radiant energy comes in, it's captured by producers, and then passes through the trophic levels of ecosystems. Eventually, all the energy that comes in and flows through ecosystems is lost as heat and radiates back out into space. That's why you need a constant input of high quality energy because the energy flows through ecosystems and is lost. Nutrients, on the other hand, are recycled. Notice that the inorganic nutrient pool, which represents molecules, is used by producers and then is passed through the food chain and the trophic levels of an ecosystem. But when those organisms die, the decomposers use whatever energy is left and then recycle those nutrients and molecules back into the inorganic nutrient pool. So while energy comes in, flows through, and is lost in an ecosystem, the nutrients are recycled around and around and around. I hope that helps you stay comfortably seated on the bio train.